Yamaha R3 Blue Crew European Cup has, for the second season, been decided over six rounds comprising 12 races. No less than five circuits returned from last year's calendar, but in 2022 the campaign opened at new venue Motorland Aragon, with 24 riders representing 10 different nationalities on show. The 19-year-old from Bologna, Devis Bergamini, led the championship leaving round one, the only series regular to open the season with back-to-back -back podiums. Showing his determination, he hit the front on the penultimate lap of race two with a fifth-to-first move that would prove a dress rehearsal for his final lap effort. One-off entry, home representative Yere Ruiz had won the opener and he snatched the lead again with only two turns to go, but was picked off down the 986-metre back straight and Bergamini was perfectly placed to cut through for the win. Kevin Fontana moved directly behind Bergamini in the standings with his first podium courtesy of a bold outside line and the momentum that saw him through to second place. The TT circuit Assen belonged to Enzo Valentim, the Brazilian taking the pole by over a second and then demonstrating that pace in back-to-back -back races to take over as championship leader. Fontana and Bergamini were again among the podium contenders throughout race one, the former surging from seventh on the grid on his way to a second consecutive podium. But Valentim was not to be denied, leading six of the nine race laps, and although Bergamini crossed the line behind him following a robust ride through the final sector, he received a post-race penalty that relegated him to sixth and cost him 10 championship points. Some of the big names who remained in the series from 2021 haven't had the best of seasons. Maxim Repak and Mark Vic Gill, who finished fourth and sixth respectively last year, were never in contention for the 2022 title. Vic Gill has suffered four retirements. Maxim Repak made his last appearance in Assen before a testing crash that curtailed his season. Enzo Valentim had already amassed an 11-point lead from four races, and he swelled that margin to a commanding 24 following the Emilia-Romagna round. His closest rival, Kevin Fontana, dropped back after a fall at La Quercia Hairpin in race one. The 15-year-old thankfully unhurt, but what would prove his only non-score of the season distanced him from a championship challenge. A missed opportunity for Fontana because Enzo Valentin managed just eighth place. Devis Bergamini bounced back to the podium but was restricted to third, and it was Andrea Pizzoli who became a fourth different winner in five races. Meanwhile, after Fontana's race one losses, Bergamini dropped points in race two as he was squeezed off the track on the final lap. Fontana also left the circuit altogether and was fortunate to claim second. Meanwhile, a third win in six left Valentin with one hand on the trophy at the season's halfway mark. When the action moved to Donington Park, it was Bergamini who took the baton from Fontana for second overall. He was squeezed out of the podium battle in race one. But although the weekend belonged to Bergamini with wins in both races, Enzo Valentin recorded two more podiums despite a rare error from the 18-year-old in race two. Fontena and Bergamini were left to duel for the win and second place in the championship ahead of the visit to Most. And it was Bergamini who made it two wins out of two from the UK round with an outside surge in the latter stages of race two. Bergamini's hopes of a fight back, though, were tempered by a penalty for irresponsible riding in Great Britain that he was left to serve in race one of the Czech round, leaving him scoreless for the second time in 2022. Enzo Valentim capitalised handsomely, leading until Gustavo Manso's final lap move, but nonetheless gaining 20 points and giving himself the chance to wrap up the title in race two. In a grandstand finale to the season's penultimate weekend, the two championship rivals duelled for victory, only for Valentim to cross the white line next to the pit wall and suffer a post-race penalty for exceeding track limits that handed Bergamini a third win in four races and ensured we headed back to racing after the summer break for a title decider. The Yamaha R3 Blue Crew European Cup was handed out before the final race of the 2022 season in a dramatic race one at the French Round. Series leader Enzo Valentim needing just 10 points in Manicure to make a mathematical certainty of his overall victory, claimed only his second pole position of the season to take a psychological advantage over his sole remaining title rival, Devis Bergamini, who qualified just 12th. Trailing by 41 points, the Italian could only maintain his hopes of glory with a first and second position finish from the two races and he was aggressive on the opening lap to immediately climb to sixth. Meanwhile, Enzo Valentin was on course for the points he needed to take the series regardless of Bergamini's efforts simply by remaining inside the top five. Valentin on the number 39 led on lap two before Gustavo Manso took up the challenge. 
The race one winner in Most, Manso went on to dominate proceedings from the front. A podium finisher for the first time at round five, number 89, Wayu Negroho, made strong progress early on from eighth on the grid in Manicur, moving third at the end of lap two. But a misjudgment into Estoril saw him hit the back of championship leader Valentim and go down. Lap one leader Archie McDonald impeded by the spill. The incident also broke the lead group into two. Manso overhauled by Valentin for top spot, with 16-year-old Brazilian Eduardo Burr on the number 88, also looking good for his first podium of the campaign. The season's other two form men, Kevin Fontana and Devis Bergamini, spent three laps over a second back from the leader, along with Frenchman Gregory Carbonell at his home round. On lap six, Bergamini made a bold move to rejoin the lead fight, a pivotal move in the context of the championship as he went deep on the brakes into the Adelaide hairpin but collected Valentim, bringing down his title rival. Valentim remounted but well outside of the points. Bergamini now needed to get inside the top two in order for the season to go down to its final race but first he ran wide trying to get to the front of the group. Then he was handed a long lap penalty from race direction. Pushing incredibly hard on the final lap, he managed to briefly recover second place coming into the final sector, but overcooked it and was relegated back to fourth, and having failed to serve his penalty in time, he was subject to a three-second penalty that dropped him to seventh. That was enough to confirm Valentim as champion, despite his non-score. The European 2020... Now I uh, just, I'm so happy, but uh, I crashed in the race. Our uh, rider made me crash. Uh, not the way that I wanted to finish and being champion, but uh, I have to thank all my team, all people that are with me, that support me and help me. And this is, <laughs> I don't have much to say. By a margin of three seconds in the end, having led each of the last four laps and avoided all of the drama, Gustavo Manso claimed his second win of the season. So it's my second victory here, and I'm very happy because it's the last race for the year. We have the race true, but it's the, the final week. So we have the second race to try another victory, and I'm so focused to the last race. I like to, I, I, I can I can word so about this. In a suitably dramatic decider, and despite failing to score, Enzo Valentim is a well-deserving winner of the 2022 Yamaha R3 Blue Crew European Cup, courtesy of his eight podiums from the first ten races of the season, including three race victories. The twelfth and final race of the season then was just for pride, with only second and third on the end of season podium still to be decided. But it was Enzo Valentim, adorned with a golden helmet, who led the field away. Turn five again proved a pinch point as four into one still doesn't go at the Adelaide hairpin. Number 13, Devis Bergamini triggering the clash and later awarded another penalty that ended his race as a serious contest. Kevin Fontana was the main beneficiary. He had sat just ninth after the opening lap but began to make ground. And staying close to Bergamini with six seconds still to be added to the Italian's time was enough for him to secure championship silver. But Valentim was clear of it all in his first ride as a newly crowned champion, controlling the race from the front. Gustavo Manso, the race one winner, was his main rival for the race win. And the number 80 led four of the nine laps over the line. The 17-year-old was still in front at the start of the final lap and put in a quite incredible defence of his position with 11 riders all going together into turn five. Valentim forced wide down to fourth, Manso escaping away. The 2022 Cup winner, though, still had time for one final spurt, capitalising on the battle between Wayu Negroho and Devis Bergamini to pass the pair from fourth to second. But his turn 15 move left him offline and off the track going into the final chicane. So he ended up back down in fourth, even after Bergamini's penalty, with Gregory Carbonell coming through for back-to-back -back home round podiums. Cause for celebration nonetheless for AD78 Team Brazil, first, second and fourth in the championship and an unbeaten weekend for Gustavo Manso. It's the last race, the last victory, my third victory in the championship and I'm very happy with this result. I will come to Brazil now very excited to the last races of the year and let's go to uh, next year, stay here tomorrow. Thank you everybody. Manso's two wins in Manicur leave him fourth overall, leapfrogging Andrea Pizzoli, whose practice crash ruled him out of race action. Despite scoring just 14 points from two races, Devis Bergamini holds on to third, but it's a commanding 37-point winning margin for Enzo Valentim. 
With four of the inaugural top 10 in the Yamaha R3 Blue Crew European Cup already competing at World Championship level in the Supersport 300 class, several members of the class of 22 can now expect to continue their progress along the SBK roadway.